Okay. The question is like this. Right? The question is like this. Problem given the astronomer can see about 10 billion light years into the into space <coughs> and there there are 14 galaxies in our local group our local group the size of our local group is 2 million light years from the next local group that means uh, uh, there is this universe how big is the universe uh, we don't know but how far can we see how far can we see we can see 10 billion light years that means uh, the total length 10 billion light years so this is what we can see so we consider this to be the size of our universe okay, okay. so it is 10 billion light years uh, in every direction in the left right top bottom front and behind we can see 10 billion light years so it it, it becomes like a sphere with radius 10 billion light years okay our universe become like a sphere of 10 billion light years radius okay because we can see 10 billion light years to the right so this is the radius 10 billion light years we can see 10 million light, light years to the left so we can see that is the radius we can go that is how far we can go so this 10 billion light years is actually the radius of the universe okay right then uh, we break this universe into groups of galaxy one group the size is 2 million light years now 2 million light years again is the radius of this group of galaxy it's not one galaxy but there are many galaxies inside one group and this group is uh, the, the radius is 2 million light years so inside this universe there are many 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 small smaller groups like this okay uh, is, is my explanation clear? Yep. Okay, you, you know what to do, right? There's one big sphere and there are many small spheres inside. There are many small spheres inside. Okay, right. So what are we supposed to do? Estimate the number of galaxies in the observable universe. Okay. Okay. So we are going to find the group, the volume of one group. Of galaxy okay so we use the formula 4 over 3 pi r cube and this is the formula for a sphere for a sphere so the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cube so it's 4 over 3 pi what is the r for the small group 2 million light years okay. so 2 million light years is 2 million is 10 to the power of 6 then we put ly to represent light year so cube of this radius the cube of this radius uh, i change the color first okay so this is the radius and we are going to cube the radius okay so when you cube the radius 2 cube becomes 8 10 to the power of 6 cube is 10 to the power of 18 okay so we have cubed the numbers then finally we cube the unit the unit is light year so it's light year cube so this represents the volume of the small group of galaxy okay now the textbook they ignore this number they ignore this number they just want to know the range so it is in the range of 10 to the power of 18 light years cube the volume of one small group is 1 times 10 to the power of 18 light year cube okay, they ignore the, the number in front right uh -huh. okay. right so um we want to know 
the density of the galaxies the density of galaxies that means uh, how many galaxies are there in one light year cube okay one more time uh. there's one group uh, one one group of galaxy within the radius of two million light years within the okay. radius of two million light years now i want to know uh one this is two million uh cubic light years i want to know one one cubic light year how many galaxies are there so we use the number of galaxies divided by the volume then we will know how many galaxies are there within a per unit light year cubic light year so actually there are 14 galaxies but your book round off to 10 okay, oh, okay. Round off to 10 so uh, we assume that there are 10 galaxies in this group so we use 10 divide by the volume and we can find out the density of the number of galaxies in one cubic light year and that number is 1 times 10 to the power of minus 17 why 1 times 10 to the power minus 17 because 10 is actually 10 to the power of 1 so 1 minus 18 divide means minus so 1 minus 18 is negative 17 this is how we handle the uh, numbers in scientific notation right? so this is 1 this is 18 we have minus 17 okay this is the number of galaxy in one cubic light year ah, this is correct one cubic light year in one cubic light year okay right now we want to estimate how many galaxies are there in the universe how many galaxies are there in the universe so what we do is we find the volume of the universe 4 over 3 pi r cube this is the radius of the universe and when you cube them okay again uh, here 10 times 10 to the power of 9 why 10 times 10 to the power 9 because they say this one where is it ah they say 10 billion light years 10 billion light years so this is 10 this is 10 this is billion billion is 10 to the power of 9 okay so this is the radius of the universe so when you multiply these two numbers together 10 to the power of 1 and 10 to the power of 9 so it's 1 plus 9 1 plus 9 is 10 to the power of 10 this is 10 to the power of 10 when you cube it becomes 10 to the power of 30 cubic light years okay okay again they just ignore the number in front because they are interested in knowing the range the range is roughly how many decimal place <coughs> so they just ignore the number in front they just take down 10 to the power of 30. okay so this is the density of the number of let me clear some of this first so this is the density, the number of galaxy in one cubic light years. This is the number of, this is the volume in cubic light year. So if you want to find the number of galaxy, we use the density, which is this number here. Multiply with the volume, multiply with the volume, okay. This is the volume, right. This is the density. So the volume multiplied with the density, we will find that the negative 3 
and the positive three of the unit they will cancel away so they actually give you the number of galaxies now this number of galaxy has no units distance yes the volume yes they have unit but the number of galaxy is just a number how many people are there 10 okay the 10 has no units how many pencils are there or oh, we have 20 pencils so the number is 20 right 20 is the number it has no units okay so when we multiply the density with the volume density is 10 to the power of minus 17 the volume is 10 to the power of 30 so we add these two numbers together because we multiply we add them together 17 plus 30 and that is equals to 13 so this is how we do the uh, numbers in standard form how we handle the numbers in standard form okay so far any question no no no, no. Okay. So then we can clear this right? Mm -hmm. right so this one shows us uh, consistency in the units how to manipulate with numbers in standard form right of course mm. uh, later on you are going to manipulate them right in your course probably more advanced course but it is not about these things right it is about yep. your <laughs> something related to what you're going to study right okay so uh